In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the TI-84 graphing calculator to construct a confidence interval for a single proportion using the z-distribution. To put this in context, we're going to use a problem to kind of springboard off of this and hopefully help us understand how we select the values and where they go and everything else. We want to do a 90% confidence level to estimate the proportion of all blue beads in this bead bucket assortment. And after taking a random sample of about 173 beads, which is our sample size, we determined that 37 of those are blue colored beads. Now, remember, our goal is to estimate the population proportion with a 90% level of confidence. If you grab your graphing calculator and pull that out, um, the way that we would do that on here is we'd go to this stats button right here, and this is going to bring up all the statistical functions that we have available. And the inferential stuff like hypothesis testing and confidence intervals, those are going to be under the testing menu in here. So you have to click the right arrow two times to get over to the test. And what we're looking for is the one proportion Z interval. And if you scroll down to, at least on my calculator, it's option A. Yours might be different. But the key thing that you want to look for is the one prop Z int. That stands for one proportion Z interval. We'll go ahead and select that. And then we have to give it the inputs. If you recall, I said 37 of the beads are blue. So that's a characteristic that we're interested in out of the entire sample, the blue beads. And then N, our sample size was 173. And then the C level or confidence level has to be typed in as a decimal value rather than a percentage. So we were doing a 90% confidence interval. So this is going to be typed in as 0 0.90. And we'll go down to calculate. When we hit enter, that's going to generate our confidence interval. So you can see the very first thing that it gives us is our lower bound and our upper bound of the confidence interval. So the lower bound is 0.1626 and the upper bound is 0.2652. If we were to look at this in context, we would say we're 90% confident that the population proportion is between 0.1626 and 0.2652. Remember, we could also express these as a percentage. 16.26% or 26.52%. And then right below that, it'll give us our sample proportion based on um, the inputs that we had. And then below that, it gives the sample size. So hopefully this will help you calculate your confidence interval or check your work for calculating the confidence interval for a single proportion using the Z distribution.